What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the farming run that I do as a level 3 skiller. Before we get into my guide, I just want to let you all know that I am not saying that this guide is perfect or is the most efficient. It's just a run and method that I personally use and I figured I'd give a little guidance to other level 3 skillers who may need it. Also, on another note, this guide will not work for a level 3 Iron Man, unfortunately, since they cannot use all of these teleports. However, if you are an Iron Man, feel free to check out these spots, and these are the ones that I use, if you can find other methods of getting to them. Anyway, with that said, let's hop into the guide. Okay, so this is the inventory and gear setup that I personally use for my runs, as I do my herb runs alongside my tree and fruit tree runs. I usually only do one farming run per day, and I don't usually do herb runs at every opportunity throughout the day. It's just easier and more relaxed for me to do it this way. Also, in order to do this method, you must be in world 330, as we are going to be using a maxed player's account that is open and is hosting their player-owned house. Here is another alternative inventory and setup that you can use if you don't have all of the teleport items, a graceful set, or a bottomless compost bucket, even though I do highly recommend purchasing a bottomless compost bucket if you can. If you don't have a bottomless compost bucket though, you can just buy a bunch of ultra compost, and then you can give them to a tool leprechaun so that he can store them all for you at all of the farming locations. This alternative method is a tad bit slower, but it saves inventory spaces as a trade-off, so, in my inventory, I have my limp root seeds, herb seeds, 6 regular trees, and 5 fruit trees, as well as 10k cash and a ton of home teleport tabs, as we're going to be house tallying a little bit. Especially if you're using the alternative inventory, you're going to be using them every time. Now that's out of the way, let's jump into the run. To start the run, I first teleport to Varrock and run to the tree plot just north. Once I check the health of the tree, I pay the guy to cut the tree down, use some ultra compost on the plot, plant my tree, and then drop the bucket. I will be doing this for every tree and fruit tree in my run. Once that's done, teleport to Falador and run east to the other plot for your second tree. Then head out of Falador, and to the northwest you will find the next tree just inside Tavalry. Next, use your Necklace of Passage to teleport to the Outpost. Be sure to run as fast as possible away from the Hobgoblins, as there is a possibility of them two hitting you. Go inside the gate and run northeast to the next tree. From there, go up the Twisty Stairs and grab your Stamina Potion if you want to. And then go back down the stairs and head just north of the Gnome Agility course. And then from there, check the health of your fruit tree, pick the produce, and pay for it to be taken out. And then use the Ultra Compost on the plot and plant your tree. Since I plant dragon fruits, I personally protect them by using 15 coconuts since they're a little bit more expensive and I don't want to waste them. But as you can see on this run, I accidentally brought palm trees instead of dragon fruit trees, so I had to go back and change them. From here, use your arty cape to teleport and then run to the west. Once you're past the maze, you'll see your next fruit tree plot. Once you planted your new fruit tree, Use your Ardon Teleport tab, and then run south to the boat dock. Once you're there, right click the guy and have him take you to Brimhaven. Here you'll see your next fruit tree, but you gotta watch out, this place is dangerous, so do your best to avoid the spiders. I've seen many level 3 hardcore Iron Men die here. Once that's done, go back to the guy and have him take you back to Ardy. Hop off the boat and run far north past the mine and the bears. Here you will find your first herb patch. Harvest your limp roots if you're using them, ultra compost and then replant the seed. Do the same for the herb patch. And don't forget that you can use your harvests on the tool leprechaun and he will note them for you for free.
Next, home teleport to Lumbridge. Run behind the castle to your next tree. Drink a stamina potion if you need to, since you're going to be running northwest through Drainer Village and then through the cabbage field to your next herb plot. Unfortunately for me, everything I planted in this patch died. That's not very common at all. But once you've harvested everything and it's all been replanted, use your house teleport tab. Right click the portal and use the option for friend's house. Personally, I always use the player called Workless since he's usually almost always online and has a really good house. But if he isn't online, you can try X Grace. And if they're not online, you can look for a maxed house being spammed by the bots all around the portal. Once inside, refill your stamina by drinking the pool of rejuvenation and then teleport to the glade using the mounted Xerix talisman. From there, go just a tiny bit southwest and harvest this herb patch. Now, use your Camelot teleport tab and run far east to the next herb patch. Once you finish that, run southeast from there to the beach and harvest your fruit tree. If you don't have access to the farming guild or fossil island, this is where your run will end for now. However, if you have access to both or either, use another home teleport tab, go into the house and go to the jewelry box to teleport to the farming guild. Once there, I complete my farming contract if I can. And then I run west to harvest my tree and herb patch. From there, I head to the west wing to harvest my limperets, poison ivy bush, and then go to the north in that wing to harvest some cactus spines for some additional small cash. This isn't necessary though. If you prefer, you could just do the herbs and trees but anyway, after that's done, head to the north wing of the farming guild, if you have it unlocked of course, and harvest your fruit tree, as well as your redwood tree if it's available. Once that's finished, we are going to go to Fossil Island to harvest some hardwood trees, birdhouses, and seaweed. To do seaweed, you need some diving gear, so equip that and then copy the inventory that you see here. The logs are for the birdhouses, so adjust the logs accordingly to fit the birdhouses that you can use. From here, yet again, use your house teleport, go into the house, and then use the mounted amulet to teleport to Fossil Island. Next, use the magic mush tree to travel to Verdant Valley. Harvest your birdhouse and use your chisel on the wood to make another. Plant it and then use your barley seeds on it to fill it. You will do these for both of the birdhouses in this location. And then use the mush tree again to teleport to the meadow. Run just north to your next birdhouse, and once that's done, run south to the hardwood patch. I plant mahogany trees here, but you can use teak trees if you can't use the mahogany trees. From there, run a bit southwest to the final birdhouse. Harvest it and replant it, and then you're going to want to run northeast alongside the sea line until you get to the rowboat. From there, use the third option to travel to a very small island that has a bank chest. Bank all of your nests, hammer, chisel, and barley seeds, and then right click the rowboat and dive. And finally, go south to harvest and replant your seaweed plants. Once done, head back up the anchor line back onto the beach. This is a great spot to train bank standing skills since you're right next to the seaweed and birdhouses and you could do those to make some extra cash. This spot also allows for random events as well so you can bank stand and get genie lamps while you're training. Other than that, that's my entire farming run. As I said, I do the herbs, trees, and fruit trees once per day. 
Today was a good day because all of my allotments lined up and were all ready to be farmed at once. And on days like this, I usually get around 215,000 XP for one full run. Also, if I'm missing anything, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if I was able to help you, be sure to drop a like, it really means a lot. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and check out my new Skiller series. But other than that, that's about it for this video. Hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.